Hello and welcome. I'm Silvia Pavoni, Economics Editor of the Banker, and I am in Buenos Aires for the G20 meeting of the Institute of International Finance. I am now talking to Georgina Baker, who is the Vice President for Latin America and the Caribbean, Europe and Central Asia at the IFC, the World Bank's private sector arm. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, so you've just concluded the panel discussion on infrastructure. The IFC, of course, is very active with a very interesting program there. Can you uh, tell me what the, were the key takeaways from the discussion and also a little bit about uh, the developments of the program? Thank you. So, I mean, most of the panel was discussing how difficult it is to bring in institutional investors into uh, investment, uh, instructional investment in emerging markets because because of the risk and, and investors want brownfield rather than greenfield. And you know, you're not going to get a brownfield asset unless you've created a greenfield one. So, you know, investors want to to have less risk than there is available, and so um, it make, make, makes things much harder. But we've created this program where we bring in uh, institutional investors, and we now have four for two billion in total, where they invest in a slice behind. IFC so we take a larger quantum and they take a portion of us so they they know that we've got more skin in the game than they have and they invest alongside us in markets across the globe whether it's Nigeria Nicaragua or, or Mozambique um, and the program is, is working quite well so so this really potentially can change things since uh, bring it's, funding I, th I think sorry to interrupt I think so because it's one of those those paradigms that everyone's like if only we can bring in all that institutional investment money they've got 36 trillion on their balance sheets we need 86 18 trillion for infrastructure investment why can't we get the the two together and this is a very small start but we have opened the door I think to bringing in these institutional investors so it's very very exciting fantastic uh, but you're also in uh, Buenos Aires to launch another interesting program which has to do with women and uh, small companies so tell me a little bit about that too. thank you we have this banking women program that we've 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 launched uh, around Latin America I think in Brazil and Dominican Republic to name but a few but this is the first time in Argentina and we real we, we, we did some analysis here and found that uh, SME women run SMEs uh, find it hard 20% of these women are unable to get access to finance in the same way that SMEs run by men. So we've created uh, a raft of products to help banks uh, target women SMEs by understanding what it is that makes them uncomfortable about coming, what are the issues that they face. You know, basic things like, you know, uh, uh, businesses are often started by taking a mortgage on your house, but if the mortgage is in the house is in your husband's or your father's name, you are unable to get a, a, share that asset with, with the bank. And so we've created uh, uh, products that these banks can use and we're really enlarging their client base so it's once banks understand what we're trying how we're trying to help it, it's it's the banks find it very very useful so, so a big launch tomorrow fantastic and hopefully another potentially uh, game changer uh, I would hope so I would hope so for the market mm -hmm. thank you so much Georgina my pleasure thank you